So my phone's almost dead, but I'm good because I've got this. Well, actually, a smartphone is an incredible piece of technology. You can't expect it to run on a lemon. You need 30 of them. Step right up. Free cell phone charging. Charge your cell phone. Yeah, what's going on here? Uh, so we're like charging phones with lemons. Oh, that works? Well, I don't know. Let's find out. Do you have a phone? Yeah. Um, so here's what's going to happen, right? I'm going to plug this in. And then we can actually see it charging, right? See that? It's working. <laughs> what? When your phone's out of juice, how can you recharge with this juice? These common household goods can mimic a battery that is composed of a cathode, or positive terminal, and an anode, or negative terminal. The positive terminal is made of copper, like this wire. The negative is zinc, like this nail. So where does the lemon come in? To make the electricity flow between the positive and the negative, you need electrolytes, and the lemon is full of them. One lemon on its own produces a small electrical current, but hook 30 together and feel the power. If you put a bunch of them in series like this, they just add up cumulatively, and then you have enough to charge your phone. Next time your battery's low, don't plug in. Just go to the kitchen, cut some lemons. Wow. Forget MacGyver this thing. This is amazing.